Today, my guests are Jeff Strauss and Christina Aldon. How are you guys doing? Hey. Hey, we're great. We're great. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm here in uh, beautiful Chicago, Illinois, in the sunshine state of Illinois. <laughs> I have to tell you uh, that uh, one of the many reasons that I like you two folks is because you do a lot of things for strangers. You do things that help Aww. other people, many of whom like you, you've never met before, you know, like uh, organizing conferences, like speaking at conferences, like volunteering at conferences. And uh, I understand that you've kicked off something new to do just that. Yeah, we we're have. pretty excited about it. We're doing a dev around the sun. It's a 24 hour fundraiser, telethon style. And uh, we've, we've curated speakers from all over the world, some of the best, brightest, most entertaining speakers. Yeah. Uh, and a big part of, of that is, you know, to raise awareness for uh, coronavirus, the, the novel coronavirus pandemic that we have right now. And uh, we were able to find a charity called Direct Relief. They've been around for 70 years. And they're in 80 countries all around the globe. And um, we're pretty excited about it. So this is like a telethon, except that instead of having singing and dancing and comedians, you're going to have tech speakers. Right. That's exactly right. That we, I, I keep telling people it's basically like a telethon, but for geeks. Um, <laughs> Jer Jerry Lewis style for those of us, like, like the three of us who are old enough to remember that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, where, where it's. It is a technical conference. It's a developer conference. Um, as Christina said, we've got some of the some of the most incredible people from around the world to to share uh, ideas with with attendees over a live stream. But it's not just th these aren't deep dive technical talks, right? It's it's entertainment. It's inspiration. They're technical <laughs> ideas, but with the idea of people having a good time, feeling reconnected uh, to their global community, having opportunities through the Twitch chat, you know, to actually engage with others. We, we want people to, um, to feel a little bit uh, of hope and reconnection at a time when really it's, it, that can be hard to find, you know? So we wanted to, not only, there's a lot of virtual conferences out there right now, but we wanted to have an opportunity for people to, to learn while also raising money, while also feeling that sort of connection, not only within their communities, but, but the global community. And it's, That's, the response has been great, man. That sounds like a great idea. Where, where did this idea originate? Uh, so it, it kind of came out of, um, Christina and I both were, were part of a thing we call meta conference. Uh, I don't remember. I think you've been to it before. You're familiar with maybe Dave from one year way back. Maybe not. We, um, a, a group of us in the organizer community mm -hmm. had been talking for years. Um, not only, you know, me and Christina and John Mills, people like Lee Brandt and Phil Japixi and Chad Green and a bunch of people. Lots of awesome names right there. Right. A bunch of people who've been running events for for a decade or more had been talking for a long time about how can we bring organizers together to um, to work with each other, to collaborate from meetups all the way up to big international events. How do we sure. help make everyone better? And uh, and so Meta Conference was born several years back. And and historically, it's been a thing. It's been like a think tank. We get together at the MVP Summit in Redmond. Yeah. And we all sit down. And, I remember being yeah. crowded into a hotel room one year. And That's talking right. To everybody. That's right. That's right. Kate, so KCDC, uh, which John and I and Lee are involved in, we, we rent a big suite during the summit. And we, um, and, we, and we just hosted all these people. Now, what was kind of at first a bummer, but was, and turned out being great this year, was because there was no summit, because everything was virtual, we were able to have a virtual meta conference and the kind the, of a meta meta conference it was a meta that's right, that's right. And, and the upside of that was we were able to invite we because we have an organizer slack with all these people but not everyone is an mvp or an insider not everyone's a microsoft community person we have people in the java community the data space and infosec and javascript and so we were able to invite leaders from other communities uh, who normally wouldn't be at summit and one of the outcomes of this year's meta conference discussion was um Claire Novotny, who is a uh, fairly recent, uh, recently appointed new executive director of the .NET Foundation. Yeah. She, um, I mean, you know Claire, and she brought up and said, I wish there was a way we could really do a thing and reach out and use the, uh, the connections we have and the, and the leverage the people we know to do something that actually makes a difference more than just finding ways to have speakers still give online talks. And that's where it came and out a, of. And yeah, a big part of it too was like, how, why would somebody attend a, a, an event like that or you know why would what would be the benefits and so yeah. a big part of that was well you know david you and i usually bump into each other at different parts of the planet every yeah. every couple months right. you know 
um, we're, we're missing that engagement. We're, we're used to seeing speakers at conferences. We're used to um, seeing our friend. Now, now we're not doctors, we're not nurses, we're not on the front lines, but we can pool our resources together. We can offer these, these talks that are going to be inspiring. Like, like Jeff said, they're, they're not deep dives, you know, they're, they're light. Uh, there are a lot of soft skills and leadership talks in here. Mm -hmm. And, and we can offer that we can offer a free content where people would normally have to pay top dollar to see these speakers at, at a conference in another country, maybe. Um, and, and here's an opportunity for us to, to give back to the community, connect the de developer community, um, regardless of the language or, or your, your stack, right, that, that you use. And, and we can come together and, and pool those resources together for, for the common good. And, and we can help the people who are working on the front lines. I mean, Direct Relief yeah. has had this emergency coronavirus fund, and they've already done things like um, uh, you know, receive three million masks and, and bring those to, to doctors in the Philippines. And, and they're bringing um, protective equipment all around the globe to, to people who really need it most. Okay. Yeah, hey, let's let, uh, let's talk first about the the sessions that are going on. I'm looking at the list of speakers yeah. here at uh, devaroundthesun.org, mm -hmm. and it's a pretty impressive list here. I see uh, Troy Hunt and John Skeet and Scott Hanselman and David Neal and Mark Rendell. Uh, a lot of great speakers here. What, give me an example of some of the sessions they'll hear. Uh, that's good. So, well, it, <laughs> you you put us on the spot and like call one out specifically. Um, oh, right. I'll just click on session info right here. Yeah, yeah. So, well, what's, here's what's interesting about it for, for me is that I can tell you the kinds of things people are talking about in some of these individuals. Because what's really interesting about it is, you know, you talk about someone like a David Neal who has a lot of background in the Node community and a lot of stuff, but he's also a great speaker about leadership, right? Mm -hmm. You can talk about a couple of the speakers we have coming from, um, from, from South America who, who are out of the .NET community, but they also really know a lot about entrepreneurship. And so a lot of the, the talks we're seeing, even if they're technical in nature around things like what's the future of machine learning or AI look like, or you know, how can we use technology to improve the things we do in, you know, in healthcare, there's still a lot of these talks are about, like Christina said, the, the, the human side of our industry, right? Yeah, you're gonna learn how to do a thing, but also you're gonna learn why we do the thing, right? Because okay. so much of what, of, of, what we, of what we hear about and learn every day is how to do the typing and how to use the tools. But I think it's important that people remember why and that we can okay. actually do amazing things with it. And that's the idea so, behind the talk. So if it's fair that it, even though it's, it's not a, a deep technical dive, it's still geared towards software developers and oh, yeah. IT professionals. Yes, sure. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right, these are mm -hmm. talks that are, that are geared, not, not necessarily just developers, but developers, DevOps people, DBAs, people who are in IT in general people who are in our industry. What's this Ask DHH link that I see? Oh. That's pretty cool. You can go to our website and submit questions. We're going to have a Q&A with DHH. So that's Heather David, Downing David, Hannah Meyer Hansen, uh, yes, editor that's right. of Ruby on Rails. That's right, that's right, CTO of Basecamp. And so uh, having uh, somebody like him available to answer questions from people uh, is again, you know, another benefit that you don't always have access to, to somebody like him, right? Where you can ask candid questions, have a discussion about, about certain topics that you might just have questions about. Maybe um, uh, you can submit it through our website. If you go to devaroundthesun.org, you have a question or two, you can submit it. There's a little tab on there. It says, ask DHH. Submit your questions, and then Heather Downing is going to be the the moderator, so she'll she'll be asking him your question. Excellent, very cool. Yeah. Uh, um, tell me about the uh, the causes that you're supporting. Well, you know the the causes that we are supporting is direct relief, and we really did a lot of research right out of the gate. Um, the the first things, like you said, the the first things that we wanted to consider were. What, what's going to differentiate us? Why would somebody attend a, a conference like this? Well, because we have great talks. Uh, they're not going to be real heavy tech talks. And because it's, it's a good cause and, and we can all come together. Okay, we, we got that. Well, then we wanted to think about uh, how we are going to distribute those funds. Now, uh, the .NET Foundation is hosting our event. 
Uh, but they're not set up as a, as a 501c3 or, you know, taking in. So all of our proceeds, 100%, we have a, a pass through through Tiltify. So everything goes directly to Direct Relief's coronavirus fund. And you can go to bit.ly forward slash DATS 2020 and, and donate now. And then even on the day of the event, while we're, we're there giving talks, people are going to have an opportunity to donate. Let's say you're really getting a lot of value out of Venket's talk and you want to you wanna offer some donation in exchange for the value that you're getting. Maybe you're really learning some. And, and this helps also and gives other developers an opportunity to, to give back. I think that a lot of us, um, I do mentorship and, and I talk to a lot of different entrepreneurial groups or, or programmers, uh, meetups, stuff like that. And I think a lot of people are feeling like, well, I'm quarantined and I, what can I do to help? And what can I do to make a difference? And how can I know if I do donate any funds that it's going to be a reputable organization? Well, we, we did a lot of research. And so Direct Relief, like I said, they've been in uh, 80 different countries all around the world. They have a long-standing reputation for over 70 years. And 100% and of our funds are, are going to them because they've popped up this coronavirus emergency fund that's specifically designed to bring protective equipment to people on the front lines. Right. And I'd point out a couple of, to, to add to that or to emphasize a couple of those points. So for, for one, um, yeah, Direct Relief, I mean, they, they were founded in 1948 and they have this coronavirus response fund. But even outside of this pandemic, their mission in general is to provide medical services and medical uh, equipment to people either in emergency situations or who are in impoverished uh, areas and communities. So this is their business anyway, is, is being in the, in, in the, um, the business uh, of providing medical help. So they already know mm -hmm. this area really well. Uh, and the other thing is when we say 100%, we don't just mean 100% of the funds that we, that we distribute will go to direct relief. We mean 100% of the money that comes in. So if you make a donation, none of it passes through the foundation or through any right. other organization. Um, it, it's, it's, you're actually making a contribution directly to direct relief. We have, we've had a handful of great corporate sponsors as well. We call sponsors, but really they're just additional donors. We have some, mm -hmm. some great companies, Microsoft, uh, where you are, Dave has, has uh, oh, made a, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Christina's company, Arana Software, WWT Worldwide Technology, where I work. Uh, have, have all Quicken Loans has, has Quicken come loans in at a really gold new. sponsorship level. Yeah. Yeah, Quicken and, loans. and we call them sponsors, but really they're additional donors contributing money to the same good cause. And we're, we just want to provide an opportunity to recognize those organizations and, and thank them because all of that money, that none of it is going to the cost of putting on our event. That's all coming from other sources. And so any money that an individual attendee chooses to contribute goes to the charity. And and that's which raises one other thing, which is it is actually a free event. So we keep saying yes. the money's going to charity, but anyone, no matter where they are in the world, will be able to tune in, tune out, uh, come, come and go as they please. It's a free stream on Twitch, uh, on YouTube, which I believe we're going to embed live in our site during the event. Correct. Right? Yes, you can go to devaroundthesun.org and the live YouTube stream will be going for 24 hours. Yeah, and, and it's free. And then there's just going to be opportunity encouragement for those who are able who are, I mean, we know it's a hard time for everyone, but for those who, who want to and have the ability right now to make a contribution, they'll be able to do so. And it's all, and that's all for charity. But if, but if people aren't in a position, they, they don't have to, it's all free. Yeah, all right. is it, uh, will it be recorded? Can people watch it later? It will, it okay. will. All of the content is being recorded. Uh, it'll be on our live YouTube, uh, on our YouTube channel after the fact. We even have uh, some bonus content because you know, when you're running an event like this, we, we even have had some, some great speakers who have volunteered their time to record additional sessions just in case something happens, someone has to back out or we have technical challenges, we have other content that people have generously donated their time to offer us so we can put it on. And that content, even if it doesn't get streamed live during the event, will be available on YouTube uh, cool. after yeah. the event. So there's gonna be a mm -hmm. ton of stuff that'll be available now and after. Most I people aren't crazy enough to stay up for 24 hours and watch the whole thing, right? <laughs> so, uh, are you are you guys going to stay up for twenty four hours? Is, is there going to be a host, a master of ceremonies? Uh, go ahead, Christine. Yes, we have shifts. We have uh, multiple shifts, and master of ceremonies. So um, they're they're going to be paired with an organizer as well. 
So uh, David O'Regan and I will be opening the event and he's, he's in Greece. So we have different people from different parts and different time zones of, of the globe that are, they're going to be staying up. And like, like Jeff said, you'll be able to communicate, uh, ask questions in the chat screen for Twitch. Um, all of that will be live. And, you know, as with anything of trying to produce a global live event for 24 hours and just, four or five short weeks that we've been doing, um, you know, there, we, we're preparing for, for extra content as well. And, and there will be, you know, a, a few bits of, of interviews and things interspersed in between speakers also. Hmm. Um, and some of the uh, MCs you'll, you'll even recognize. Richard Campbell is, is presenting. Um, I, I know that he's going to be maybe um, doing some questions, uh, Lars Clint as Clint well. He's doing, Dylan Beatty, yeah. Cassidy, right? Wood. Dylan Beatty. Uh, yeah, we've got we've got Amy Kaepernick is I believe now committed to that's uh, right MC out of Perth, that's Australia. Right. So we've we've got some great MCs lined up throughout the day. It's it's, it's so even the fun. MCs are going to be fun, yeah, and exactly right. the the event should should be really uh, entertaining. And I think approachable for, for everyone. I, I think also, if we remember that this is a free event and so, so many volunteers, I mean, we have eight engineers, top engineers that are going to be um, streaming and managing everything. It's quite the infrastructure that, that Jeff Spritz has set up on the back end just to execute this and his team of, of volunteers. So it, it's quite a big production to, to, get everybody involved to make sure that their microphones, their videos, their, their streaming connection is going to be solid. Mm -hmm. And we're just grateful to all of the volunteers, everybody who's spent late nights putting things together, all of the, the speakers who have offered to donate their time um, and, and the sponsors that are, that are willing to help support it as well. It's, it's been a really cool, it's been fast. It's been a lot of work. <laughs> But it's, it's been really rewarding so far, and, and maybe we can keep it going, uh, make it an annual thing. We'll see. Oh, that would be really nice. Uh, yeah. So uh, you, you, you guys are volunteering your time. The speakers are volunteering their time. Uh, mm -hmm. It sounds like Jeff Fritz is volunteering his time and his, and his team. Uh, .NET Foundation is volunteering the, the infrastructure, the, the video yes. infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And uh, are there any costs at all involved with this? There are some, um, there, but, but we're trying to keep it fairly limited. Um, you know, there's some costs associated with the streaming. Um, there's some costs we have hosting and things like that, which the foundation has provided. Okay. Um, but we've tried to keep it fairly, fairly thin. I mean, the, it's uh, like Christina said, it's, it's all been kind of a whirlwind. We, we decided, I mean, MetaConference was only two months ago. Uh, right. that's, that's where it was born two months that's ago. It was born was two months ago. Um, and then Claire and John and I had a few follow-up conversations, um, in the, in the immediate aftermath. And then a few days went by and Claire said, okay, I've thought of all these great people. Let's like, do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going we're to go. And it's like, awesome. oh, all right, we're going to okay. go. All right. And, uh, and it's come together really fast. Um, but because of that, we, we've actually been fairly conscious. Uh, we've tried to be conscientious of that and try to keep costs down. So it, there are some costs, but it's but it's been small, and like I said, it's basically all being funded by by the foundation and and some of the other organizations and individuals involved. And we're it, it's not enough money that it's you know we're we're just we're just making sure it happens and trying to maximize what we can give away to charity. That's what we're trying to do. I don't think we said the date. When does it start? Oh yeah, it's uh, May twelfth, next Tuesday. Uh, it begins at twelve o'clock UTC. Um, so that's, uh, what, eight o'clock Eastern daylight, five o'clock Pacific, one o'clock in London and other times all around the world, but, but 12 o'clock UTC and it'll run, uh, for, for the full 24 hours. So all the way to uh, the 13th. Uh, uh, and information is at devaroundthesun.org. Is yep, there anything right. you want to, you want to talk about the share that we haven't covered yet? Well, everyone can see the schedule, mm -hmm. and as the schedule comes up, it will be displayed in your local your local time. 
zone. So we did set it up that way. And once you see the schedule, you know, you can just pop in, you can pop out. You, it's also different from, from a normal conference where, you know, you, you come into a room and maybe you want to go see someone else and you're, you're, you don't want to stand up and leave. (laughs) You could do that here because it's just going to be live streamed. It's just, it's going, it's going. Um, but you so know, the audience won't be streamed live. Just the that's speaker. right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's comforting. And if if you do want to chat, like I said, there's an opportunity to a you can submit your questions uh, through our website for DHH for his Q and A. You can also chat on Twitch. Um, we'll have people uh, moderating. You can ask questions, and it's a really good way to access these speakers and and presenters that you normally wouldn't be able to maybe connect with. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and it's a really good way also for people who are used to seeing each other, speakers and, and, and uh, conference goers to, to connect. Um, the developer community, I think, depends on that a lot of times, right? We hear about the hallway track at a conference. We hear My about- favorite track. Um, it is. Right? open spaces, people sitting and, and just hanging out and, and connecting. And we really hope to, to bring that sense of, of community and hope and inspiration um, to the developer community so that, you know, when quarantine releases, I know a lot of, a lot of states, a lot of countries are slowly, they've, they've all got their plan, but it could be a bit before, before we see each other at, at conferences again. And so just having that developer unity, I think, is, is really helpful right now at a time when, when we need that community, that sense of connection. Yeah, um, I would point out to uh, other things that are worth mentioning. We, there, is, there are social media channels, Dave. So um, like Dev Around the Sun is our Twitter handle. It's worth following there. There is a Facebook page as well. Um, we do have a YouTube channel where we'll be posting the content afterwards. That, that mm-hmm. like we said, that that YouTube will be embedded on the site during the event. Um, but there's a YouTube channel worth going to. So we've we've been posting a lot of just little stories and things through social media. Christine has been doing a great job with that, actually managing a lot of that strategy for us over the last few weeks. So it's worth following there as well. We'll we'll probably have some live tweeting going on throughout the event. Um, so it's worth checking that out. The Stack Overflow po- uh, podcast is happening uh, somewhat early oh, on yeah. the agenda. So oh, the, that'd uh, be really cool. Wait a minute, didn't uh-huh. they cancel that like five years ago? <laughs> there, there's a Stack Overflow pan, com, uh, podcast. There was, I used to listen to it, but it, yeah. it, I thought it ended years ago. <laughs> yeah, they're yep, recording they, a part of it live in the second or third slot actually right part near of the it beginning. Live. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Um, Sarah Chips is on our organizing committee. Of course, she's, uh, she's got a lot, a lot of involvement in her, in her role over there. So uh, mm-hmm. yeah, there's all sorts of, I mean, I, I would just say get online, check out the schedule. Not everything is for everyone, obviously. Um, mm-hmm. But we've tried to have a lot of content for anybody, no matter who they are. So see what's there and, and make notes in your calendar and, and tune in and enjoy yeah. it. I definitely will. I'm going to rush because today is the 7th mm. uh, and um, <laughs> we're recording this. And I'm going to rush to try to get it out by Monday, which thank you. Uh, yeah. the thank you Monday, much. early morning Chicago time. And then the event is actually the following day uh, right. on Tuesday. Excellent. So uh, yeah. just to let people know if you're watching this. <laughs> Clear tomorrow's calendar. <laughs> That's right. Clear your calendar for tomorrow, and uh, and thanks, Dave. I know, like, this is uh, an interruption to what would be nor- your normal production schedule. So this is uh, really appreciated. Oh, well worth it. It's great to see you guys. I can't wait to uh, get so a, to, to give you guys a hug in person. But this will have to do until then. I miss Thank hugs. you. Virtual really hug, miss. friend. Virtual <laughs> hug. Awesome. Air high five. We do air <laughs> high fives too. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks Thank so you much. Very much. Thank you. Dev Around the Sun. Bringing together technology and friends from around the world for a common cause. Stay safe, everyone.